Hello, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to do a small line. I am using, and I don't know its name, I've just shown the bottle. It is a sample bottle um, of Cover Pink Builder Gel. I don't know the name and I don't know when it's going to be released, but it is from Diamond Glitters. Their site of the... Their, they're part of the website, should I say, called Gel Perfection. But as I say, it's got no labels on and I don't know when it's going to be released. But it is a lovely colour. So as you can see, if you are an acrylic tech using Builder Gel, it will make sense to you. If you are a gel tech and you're trying to do this with Builder Gel, it's not going to make sense. And the reason I say that is because with acrylic, when we do small lines, we pick up our bead, we place our brush back to front, we place the bead where we want the small line to be, and we blend back. In gel, you are taught, as I've just been doing, to go from the cuticle area and take your bead from side to side down the nail. Now, what I've done is done half as you would like acrylic and half like you would with gel but it still works and you can still meet in the middle the beauty of this builder gel is it doesn't actually move so you can put your guide down nice and thin as i did at the beginning to roughly map out where you want it and then obviously you know as most people do come in and file it in so I've cured that now and I am just going to file it. If I look like I'm filing like a bit of a plank, I am. <laughs> you know what it's like. Um, you don't want to ruin your own nails. I only did them on Wednesday and I was doing this set last night. That was Friday night. So I'd only had my nails on for two days and I didn't want to scratch them or ruin them. I could wear gloves, but do you know, especially working with tips these practice tips because they're so small and fiddly i find it really difficult to actually file with gloves on so i'm just filing like a bit of a plank and all i'm doing is i'm just refining that smile line and that edge and making it nice and crisp nice and sharp making sure that i've got a good wall to take my white up to You could try, if I was doing this with acrylic, I could get the smile line in and not have to file it. With gel, it's a bit harder to do that. You could try it, but gel is so much easier to file than acrylic. I would just say, just, just file it in. It literally takes seconds to file. And I'm refining that nail bed area as a whole. I'm not just concentrating on the edge and getting the wall in. I'm concentrating on it as a whole because I want it to be even on both sides. Because then when I do encapsulate and bring my white up, I haven't got as much filing to do. So I'm just going to clean off and clean my own hands <laughs> by the look of it. And I'm then going to go in with... No, I'm not. Okay, so when I prepare a tip, I always file it first. I usually buff it, but I've run out of buffers. And... I therefore put a layer of base coat down to give it a smooth coating, but sticky. And I was just filing the edge because some bits of dust had got in. So this is Gel Perfections Alaska. And I could have done this so much neater, but you get the gist. I think half my problem was that I was trying to file and not wreck my own fingers. And 
I would have used my detailer brush, but if you've watched any of my other videos, you will know it keeps losing hairs and it's driving me bloody batty. So I've done one coat of Alaska cured for 60 seconds. I'm doing a second coat of Alaska. Again, like I say, it's not the neatest thing in the world. I don't really do smile lines, nobody has them anymore, but I wanted to give it a go. So I'm going over with base coat over the whole nail. I don't know why I would be doing that. <laughs> don't know. Just felt like it at the time. <laughs> so I've got a glitter mix here. It's like a pink and white tinselly iridescent type mix. I don't know the name of it. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's just something that's been in my kit for, God, years. Years and years. So I'm just picking that up with my Perfect Nails brush, which is just... If anyone knows where to get a Perfect Nails brush from, please will you let me know. It's the Dulux Gel brush. It is out of stock and driving me bananas. It's been out of stock for months. It's well before Christmas. So as you can see, not the neatest thing, but there we are. I don't actually know what's going on now. Must have encapsulated it. Encapsulated it off camera, <laughs> obviously. And now I'm filing to refine it. Make your surface nice and smooth and then it's just a case of wipe off your dust and apply your top coat you could add a pigment over like a white pigment or a pearly pigment something i don't know but yeah but i thought i'd leave the filing in it is semi in shot semi out shot <laughs> yay <laughs> Well done me. But you can see what I'm doing. And I have sped the filing up because like I say I was filing like a bit of a plank because I was going so slow I just did not want to wreck my own fingers. So clean off. Remove your dust. And then add your top. Ta-da! So not the not the neatest of things, but you can you know, before I put the glitter on, it was completely neat, nice and smooth. So you can achieve smile lines with filter gels. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.